An anti-pope is an uncanonically elected, quote, pope. That is a person claiming to be pope who has not been legally elected. The Catholic Church has infallibly taught that a heretic cannot be a true pope. The reason for this is that a pope is a member of the church and the visible head of the church, but a heretic places himself outside the church and ceases to be a member of the church. Thus, a heretic cannot be the pope. This is why the Code of Canon Law, Pope Paul IV, St. Francis de Sales, St. Alphonsus, and St. Robert Bellarmine, all teach that a heretic cannot be a pope, and if a true pope were to become a manifest heretic, he would cease to be the pope. This teaching is rooted in the infallible dogma that a heretic is not a Catholic and is not a member of the Church. St. Francis de Sales, quote, Now when he, the Pope, is explicitly a heretic, he falls ipso facto from his dignity and out of the Church. St. Antoninus, quote, In the case in which the Pope would become a heretic, he would find himself by that fact alone and without any other sentence separated from the Church. He could not be a heretic and remain Pope. Pope Paul IV taught the same thing in his bull Cum Ex Apostolos Officio, that no Catholic can accept a person as a Pope who can be shown to be a heretic. We believe that one reason that Our Lady may have appeared on May 13th is that it is the feast of St. Robert Bellarmine. St. Robert made the most famous statements in church history on how if the Pope became a manifest heretic, he would cease to be the Pope. St. Robert Bellarmine, quote, A pope who is a manifest heretic automatically ceases to be pope and head, just as he ceases automatically to be a Christian and a member of the church, wherefore he can be judged and punished by the church. This is the teaching of all the ancient fathers, who teach that manifest heretics immediately lose all jurisdiction. St. Robert Bellarmine, quote, He who is not a Christian is not a member of the church, and a manifest heretic is not a Christian, as is clearly taught by St. Cyprian, St. Athanasius, St. Jerome, and others. Therefore, the manifest heretic cannot be Pope. Pope Pius XII, Mystici Corpus Christi, number 23, June 29, 1943, quote, For not every sin, however grave it may be, is such as of its own nature to sever a man from the body of the Church, as does schism or heresy or apostasy. Pope Innocent III, A.S. Exemplar, December 18, 1208, quote, By the heart we believe and by the mouth we confess the one Church, not of heretics, but the Holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church, outside of which we believe that no one is saved. And how do we judge that someone is a heretic? St. Robert Bellarmine, quote, For men are not bound or able to read hearts, but when they see that someone is a heretic by his external works, they judge him to be a heretic pure and simple and condemn him as a heretic.